Hey guys, I've got the uh, the divine Miss Ella on place here. Sorry for the lighting, but I think you can see her. She's on place, uh, which is a little uh, just a little bath mat that I have in my kitchen. I'm about to prep her food. She needs to wait until I put the food down, make eye contact with me, and then I'll say break. Um, looks like she's thirsty. <laughs> I'll let her get her drink, and then as soon as she hears a bag, watch. Okay, place. Let's go. Place. Down. All right, I'm gonna make her wait. It's usually, uh, these girls, it's a free-for-all once they hear the food bag. Um, very, very, and you can, you probably cannot hear her sister in the background, but she's whining. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Nola wine, what, really? So I've got the food here, I'm gonna set it down. Nope, down. And I'm just gonna immediately claim the space here. I'm gonna step into her and let her know that I don't want her popping up. This food is not um, for hers to take until I say break. And you can do this with both the girls. I'm just trying to demonstrate to you what it looks like. But to have both these girls out here at the moment um, is a little bit of a free for all. So it's gonna take a little management on your part, but you absolutely can do it. You wanna make sure you feed them like away from one another so there's no resource guarding issues. I have not had any issues with these girls uh, with any resource guarding um, of toys or food thus far. So, okay, break, take it. So I'm just gonna invite her to take it and, and that's it. And as you can see, I'm not sure what she eats out of at home, but this is a slow feed bowl. These girls are sharks and they scarf their food. So it's not a bad idea to put this in a little speed bowl, um, slow feeder bowl so that uh, it slows them down a little bit. All right, guys, have a good one.